A planned power outage left part of the Oregon district in the dark for a few hours this morning. That led some businesses to open late, costing them customers. So why shut off the power on a Monday morning? Jordan Burgess is asking that question to Dayton Power and Light officials. At first glance, Monday morning might seem like a bad time for a business to have its lights out. But when I asked State Power and Light why this project was set for Monday, the company said it had a good reason for picking that day. For this photography class, the Oregon District is picture perfect on this Monday morning. But for businesses, something is missing from the photo. We just weren't able to have shoppers because we couldn't process any payments. From 6.30 this morning until a little after 10.30, parts of the Oregon District were without power while Dayton Power and Light did some maintenance work. That's why Goodwill had this sign in the window saying it wouldn't open until 11. Tumbleweed Connection was delayed half an hour in opening for breakfast. So I asked DPNL officials why they decided on Monday for the outage. Why a Monday, not like a Sunday morning? Sometimes that could seem like it'd be an okay day. Sure, and, and really in this case, we do all the listening. We, you know, we set up the meetings with these folks. State and Power and Lights, Bruce Kopic says the Monday morning time is what the businesses wanted. I found Monday is a day that some normally don't open. The business owners in this case decided a 6.30 on, the, on, on Monday morning was um, going to be the least impactful. Kopic says when it comes to maintenance, most of the time workers can do it without shutting off the power. But when the company can't avoid turning the lights out, it gives the businesses impacted options on the time. DPNL says it also gives them advance notice. It's a pretty coordinated effort to make sure that uh, everybody's aware of uh, exactly what's going on. In this case, officials went door to door and the company followed up with a call on Friday. The businesses I spoke with say they got the message. We totally understand that maintenance is necessary and we appreciate the, the heads up and the notification that we got so we could plan accordingly. And I'm told the maintenance was for an upgrade for some of the facilities that feed power to the Oregon District, and the power had to be cut for the safety of the crews. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.